I've left California. I'm in Tennessee now. I've taken a look at some videos back in California. People are not happy with this. You got conservatives who are not happy. Even some liberals are realizing this is not a good idea. There was a video that went viral of a guy jumping up at, it looks like a Costco or a Home Depot or something like that, standing on a table, I guess Walmart, maybe, who knows, screaming through a bullhorn about how terrible Gavin Newsom is. Take a listen. You know why we're under this lockdown right now? Because all the information is coming out about COVID and they know it's a farce. Hey guys. You must not do this. I just keep going, guys. If you continue, this is the life that you will have. I just keep going, guys. Keep going. Don't tell me I have the right. You know what? Governor Newsom doesn't have the right to shut us down, to make you wear a mask. That's right. All right, people, you know that's right. We've got to stand out for ourselves because this governor is going to keep us locked down until we do something about it. And I want to know, are you going to let this happen? I like this guy. (laughs) This is my kind of guy. And the right has a decision to make right now. As we see Mitch McConnell saying Joe Biden's the president elect, it's all, they're basically everybody who has anything to do with this has has given up at this point. They've said, okay, it's going to be Joe Biden. I think there are a lot of Republicans who are relieved about that. I think there are a lot of establishmentarian Republicans who sometimes they talk good game about, oh, you know, yeah, abortion's bad. Give me your money. Yeah, no, abortion, it's bad. And uh, yeah, we, and we should stop immigration too. Give me your money. Donate, donate, vote for me, vote for me. Then they don't do anything about it. And they don't actually want to upset that establishment at all. They are, to use a phrase I've mentioned on this show a number of times, court jester conservatives. Their, their job is to sort of put on a little show and legitimize the kingdom of liberalism, that establishment. We have a decision to make. We all want perfect candidates. We want them to talk like Reagan and fight like Trump and look like, I don't know, Arnold Schwarzenegger. We want perfect supporters. We want all this. Ask yourself this question. That guy yelling on top of that table with the bullhorn. Are you on that guy's side? I am. I'm on that guy's side. Maybe that guy has some fringe opinions about some things. I don't know. I don't know the guy. Maybe that guy doesn't go to cocktail parties very nicely. Maybe he doesn't have like a really nice fitted suit and a really beautiful silk tie that'll look real. I'm on that guy's side. If you said, Michael, you can right now be friends with Pete Buttigieg, who's, look, he's so smart. He's so polished. He's, he's kind of a moderate. So you, look, just go, you can, you can be on that guy's side or you can be on the side of that screaming guy at the Costco. I'll take the screaming guy at the Costco. That's my guy. Republicans need to make this decision. Are we, are we going to defend? I, I see the argument. They say, look, we're conservative and let's just conserve this liberal establishment. Okay. I, I, I'm not interested in that. I, I don't want to do that at all. I want to conserve something a little deeper and more important than that. And there's, there's going to be a civil war within the Republican party. Are we the party of Guys wearing nice suits and billionaires and the party of, yeah, maybe you keep the borders open. It's fine. What, you know, oh, you got to ship some jobs overseas. It's fine. GDP is going to go up. Are we going to be, oh, forget about, come on, the cultural issues and abortion. It's not, we'll talk about it, but it's, we're not going to do anything. Are we going to be that party? Or are we going to be the party of the guy screaming on top of the table at Costco? I want to be the party of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> 